Phoenix Greyhound Park Swap Meet or Phoenix Park and Swap is located at 3801 East Washington Street off of Washington Street and 40th Street in Phoenix, Arizona. Parking is free. Just try to drive slowly and use indicators until you are parked because traffic moves in multiple directions. There are also parts of the lot that are a little uneven and have small potholes. So be aware, especially if it's at night when it's dark and you might not be able to see very well. They are open Wednesday evenings and then they are also open Friday, Saturday and Sunday mornings and afternoons. And like I said, there's plenty of parking. We got here on early on a Wednesday evening. They open at 5 p.m. on Wednesday. And there was plenty of parking. We like to park up, obviously, close to the entrance. You don't have too far to walk when you're done because you are walking all around the swap meet. And as you can see, there are cars right here going in different directions. There are no arrows or little signs telling you which way to go. And you can kind of see where there's little potholes. And there are a few different entrances on the different sides of the swap meet. And each one will have a ticket booth for you to pay your entry fee. It is $3 per person to get in. Even children, um, unless they're under three, then they're free. Veterans and active military with ID can also get in free. There are no pets allowed and they need cash to get in. They do not take credit cards at the entrance and they think some of the concession stands. As you can see, it is fenced all around, obviously, because you have to pay to get in. No pets are allowed and you can't bring outside food, although you can bring one bottle of water per person. It is Arizona. <laughs> can be kind of loud at the swap meet so I will have it muted for the rest of the video. As you can see there are multiple aisles that have work clothes for men and for women and you can see each of the little aisles have numbers down there. So if you wanted to walk around the whole swap meet one time kind of get an idea of what they have they do um, at the park and swap website have a PDF map that you can download and kind of mark off which vendors you want to go back to. Some of the vendors do sell things that other vendors also sell, so you might want to keep track of different prices and stuff. Although they may be, the two different stores also might be owned by the same vendor just on different parts of the swap meet. They do have some rides for the kids, which are about a dollar a ticket, and each ride took anywhere from one to four tickets, like a little tiny merry-go-round, um, stuff like that. They do have like um, the little vehicles, they have appliances, it's kind of just a mishmash of all kinds of stuff. It's a swap meet, like a garage sale. Some stuff is used, some stuff is new. Can't guarantee what is licensed, although it is technically against the law in Arizona to sell counterfeit items. So hopefully they vet all their sellers. You could probably find lots of clothing and shoes at the swap meet. I didn't see a lot of larger size things. They also have a dollar store, which are really a dollar, not like Dollar Tree, which is a dollar twenty-five now. But yeah, so that's kind of fun. And then just walking around, you want to make the most of it because you did pay three dollars to get in, right? So they do have religious items. They have housewares, like I said, tons of shoes for kids and for adults. They have lots of backpacks, lunch boxes. They have toys. Um, different vendors sometimes have a, a odd collection of what they're selling, anywhere from jewelry and perfume to bathing suits um, and toys. Uh, this one, this one's nice. This one has like a lot of Mexican um, souvenirs and stuff. They you can get keys made here. They have keychains, lots of lanyards, lanyards that are like for different fandoms of um, also sports, um, sports team stuff. Like there's perfumes, there are little leather wear, like uh, jackets and shoes. They have a lot of tennis shoes. They have a lot of ponchos. They have a lot of blankets, pillows. They do have a food section. So they have like aguas frescas, um, a lot of more Mexican themed foods and snacks here at the Phoenix Park and Swap. And they have the food court. They do have everything listed. Um, like I said, I'm not sure if they take... I think um, credit cards, but they do have ATMs around the swap meet if you feel comfortable using one of their ATMs. They do sell a lot of popsicles. It is Arizona, so it can get hot even in the winter time when they're open or the spring. And they do have kettle corn, shaved ice. That one's over by the, 
the kids ride. So that's kind of fun. And then they do have restrooms. The only ones that I really saw were the ones that were um, by the restaurant or the concession stand. And then that's pretty much the Phoenix swap meet. So if you have time, check it out.